Hey Pisces, welcome to your August 2020 Who's Your Future Love Partner? This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel today, welcome. So I'm going to dive in and clarify the reading. Um, and I'm going to pull your Romance Angel card at the end. So stick around. Meditated Shuffled, laid out all the cards. Just want to let you guys know, um, if you're TikTokers, if you like TikTok, I'm over there. I do... Uh, mini readings, but I also go live like every other day, kind of like what I do here on YouTube. Um, and if you don't know and you want to catch me live here on YouTube, I go live, do free Q&A tarot sessions every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. Would love to see you. And if you'd ever want to join in, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I go live. Whew. Okay, Pisces, let's dig in here. Um, overall energy for August is justice so there's a sense of some karmic retribution here for you hmm I like that very very promising um, you could be dealing with this energy of finding balance in your life again in August maybe you've been through a lawsuit or something um, has gone down in your life where um, maybe you were screwed over i'm seeing the king of swords here maybe some of you are dealing with an attorney it's an obstacle here maybe you're wrapping up a divorce or a lawsuit okay um what's under justice a oh, lover's card okay um who is my future partner we'll kind of figure this out as we go who is my future partner and what are they like you have the four of coins so the Four of Coins um, is somebody that is about building their future. They're on this path to build their life. Uh, they're focused on their finances. They could be real estate. Um, you see how they're kind of holding onto their coins here. Fours are about building a solid foundation. Uh, it could be some stubborn energy here as well. Um, but I feel like this person is coming into your life after the struggle, right? So. You got the Ace of Swords, which is a brand new beginning after struggle, cutting away all the BS that you've been dealing with in your life. And this is um, mentally as well. Like you're just going to feel free. You're going to feel like you're ready to bite the bullet and move forward in your life um, and look ahead to your future. Now, your first impression of this person, you got the Three of Coins. Um this is somebody that could be very involved in the community um, this is somebody that's building their future this is somebody maybe that's been single for a while as well okay and so we got the three of coins four of coins I've seen a lot of earth energy here seven of coins this person could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn so we'll, we'll clarify that yeah you got the devil card as your outcome but don't don't fuss about that too much. Don't worry about that. But that is Earth any energy Capricorn. Uh, but this could be attachment to ego. This person could have a little bit of an ego focused on just material gain at this point in time. Mm. Um, third party, you got a three here and you got a three here. So two threes, a lot of growth. I don't see you guys. Um, I mean, I think for the... <laughs> How I see you moving into September, let me spit it out, with the Seven of Coins is what kind of relationship will this be? I think there's potential, this huge growth potential for this relationship. This is um, you assessing um, the efforts put into the relationship and, you know, is this working out? Yes, yeah, so you got the Three of Wands above it. Three of Wands is about seeing your ships coming in. Like you standing on this precipice, looking at these ships saying, okay, well, we're moving forward. I, I Things are going okay. Um, I feel like my ships are coming in with this person. And for you personally, I feel it's, um, it's this beautiful new beginning after definitely the struggle, which I think was legal maybe for some of you. You got the king of swords here as your obstacle, a decision coming your way. Maybe you're waiting for a final decision on a lawsuit or a divorce something like that even financially for you as well Pisces because I see a lot of pentacle cards here you know um, 
But the Capricorn Devil card as your outcome is a little concerning, but we're going to clarify this. Um, this is codependent energy. Uh, Capricorn, you know, we're still in that stellium period with uh, these planets back, Pluto, Jupiter, uh, and Saturn back in Capricorn. So this is about assessing our values. Uh, what do I really want? This could be fear about speaking your truth, too. Fear of getting involved, again, you know, in a relationship. Not to say that you don't want to get involved in a relationship, but there's some potential here. I think you see the potential. You want to see how things go, but I think you're going to take it slow. You're wrapping up something legal. Let's jump in and do some clarifying for you. How's that? I want to see. Why is the devil here for Pisces? I don't like that. Why is the devil here for Pisces? Can Pisces speak their truth? Maybe you just want to be discreet right now. Um, why is the devil here for Pisces? Why is the devil here for Pisces? This outcome with this relationship. Where are they going? Moving into September. Page of Cups. Okay. Uh, flirty communication, sweet, beautiful new energy, messages coming in, maybe it feels fake to you, this is about a new relationship, uh, eight of coins, okay, working to see how you could do things better, building, growing, the relationship, so you got another pentacles card, so you have the Three, four, seven, and eight now of pentacles. Ace of Wands underneath. I definitely feel like you guys are attracted to each other. That's for sure. Maybe you're busy too, you know. Oh, isn't that crazy? Look at that. This was at the bottom. Oh, my God. Look what's at the bottom now. Wow. Yeah, this, this is you being attracted to this person. Another uh, beginning. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is going to be a very transformative time for you, Pisces. You know, whatever you've been dealing with, it's been a lot. Yeah, you got this Nine of Swords here, mental stress and frustration. But look, soulmate energy under here. Be strong. Wow, you got some pretty incredible cards. Oh, my God. And the Lover's card. And you have the Lover's card under here. Wow. Oh, my God. And the Three of Coins. Again, the cards are really repeating everywhere here. Wow. I definitely think this is a soulmate. This is a lover. This is you moving forward. But uh, I could I feel there's a third party influence. And it's not that um it's a triangle, like a love triangle. I, I, I think it's more about you juggling your life, um, uh, maybe between an ex, if you got kids and you're trying to move forward you know, with this new relationship, and maybe you're taking your time, get the Ten of Coins under there, I mean, Ten of Cups, I mean, I see emotional abundance for you, but you're going to be taking it slow, you're going to be taking it slow, because you're dealing with, it's almost like uh, August feels like it's a time of shifting for you, like you're moving from one phase of your life, getting the justice that's due you, and now you can focus and move forward, but, you know, there's some endings, and you know, this opportunity to move forward with all these aces here. Damn, Pisces. Um, why is the three of coins here? Your first impression of this person is the three of coins. You see them working very hard. Maybe they're trying to build, rebuild. Look, we've been in a pandemic especially if this person's been in real estate, because this is my real estate card. This person is trying to rebuild their life, their financials, have a solid foundation for their future. And you see them working very hard. You see them out in the community. Hold on, why are my cards all... Oh, it's just that one. So um, so that's good. They're hardworking. We like that. All right, let's see who this four coins is. Let's get a little bit more insight. Who is this person? Sun, moon, and rising. Give us a little insight. Legitimately, is this good for Pisces? That devil card. I want more information about that. That's what I want for my Pisces. Make sure this is legit for you. Who is this person? Like, what's up? Ooh, could be an Aquarius. I like that. Got the star card. 
This person's very hopeful about their future. Optimistic. I like that. Queen of Cups could be a water sign or have water energy in their chart. I like that. Queen of Cups is uh, following your heart. This person wants to follow their heart too. They're about making the coins, but they're following their heart. Devil. You're still dealing, though, with this devil energy. Hmm. Codependency. Maybe there's some fear you need to face, Pisces, um, about what you want. Successful. This person's going to be very successful. Um, reaching their milestones. Making the coins. Ace of Swords. Starting new. Cutting through all the BS. Brand new start for you. Almost feels like a brand new start for them. Working very hard. Making the coins. So Seven of Coins is about assessing the situation. So I think you're going to be taking it very slow in August. You're going to assess the situation with this person as you move to September. And I think that's good. Take it slow. you got other stuff that you're working out here. But I definitely see an attraction. Maybe it's just very sexual. Maybe it's just physical right now because this is phys physical attraction. But I will tell you, there's love behind the scenes here. This is some soulmate energy. You got the lover's card too as well. So I'm loving this for you, Pisces. Uh, what else can we clarify here? Um, King of Swords. Who is this person? Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of... What is Pisces dealing with? Why is the King of Swords an obstacle? Waiting for a decision to come your way. That's what I was picking up earlier. Yeah, money. More money. Now you got the six of pen. You got a lot of money uh, concerns or money moving forward in August. <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel this is some kind of lawsuit moving your way, whether it's a divorce, child support, whatever it is. You got money coming in, baby. Money, money, money. Money. <laughs> wow. Generosity of spirit. Things turning your way. Things moving forward, looking better in the future. Wow. Karmic justice, good juju for you. Things being made right for Pisces. Love in the immediate future. Wow. Juggling kids, though. Maybe juggling an ex. Wow. Six of coins. Why is the six of coins here? Very exciting, Pisces. I'm so happy for you. All right. Six of coins. King of Wands. Could be an X. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag. They're going to have to pay up, baby. Yep, death and transformation. You're moving through. That's what I was picking up early. You're moving through a major shift, a major turning point in your life, Pisces. Okay, because death card is very transformational. It's moving from one phase of your life to the next. It's a major arcana. So congratulations, making big moves in August for you. Things coming to fruition. Hold on. Card fell. Oh, dee, 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 dee. All right, let's get this shuffled. Let's get some energy on here for Pisces. My beautiful fishies, what's going on? What is your romantic love message? So nice to see love. Worth waiting for. Aw. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Mm-hmm. I'll say. No kidding. You deserve it, Pisces. You deserve somebody that's going to be there for you. Because this looks like a bunch of bullshit over here. But, you know, look, we all go through ups and downs in relationships. Many of us go through divorces. Um, getting to know each other. Aww. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Love it, Pisces. Love it for you. This is such great energy for August. I'm so excited for you. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if this resonated for you. And share. Please share. It's a free way you can help your girl. If you know another Pisces that you think that would like the reading, please forward it to them as well. I want to wish you all the best for August. Hit me up on TikTok if you're interested or Definitely hit me up for my lives here. Now, I've had some feedback. I'm probably going to do a toll um, or a poll. Toll. Oh, my God. Do a poll. 
because I'm on the West Coast. So a lot of my West Coast peeps are like, five o'clock, really, Lauren? Like, we're getting off work or whatever. So leave me a comment below what time might work for you as well. I like Thursdays, but I could always do it a little later. Or I could do a second session on the weekend. So let me know if that might work for you as well. Because I'm giving back, okay? And I really enjoy. I started doing these little uh, live during when the pandemic started. I'm like, people need help. I need to get online and do more, you know? So send me some feedback on that, guys. All right, God bless you. I love you. We'll see you in the next one. All right, Pisces. Take care. Good luck with everything. All right, bye. I'm trying to find the mouse. Here it is. Okay, bye.